From arenas to libraries, the race to win your vote is hitting the home stretch in western Iowa. Rand Paul is the latest candidate to stop in Council Bluffs. His visit comes about three weeks before the caucus. Paul hopes a two-day swing in Iowa will help give him some momentum. And it starts on his birthday. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski caught up with the Republican candidate in Council Bluffs. Jake's live tonight. Greg Rand Paul and his wife will travel the entire state. As you mentioned, they started this morning in downtown Council Bluffs and say he's the most fiscally conservative of the candidates. You know what I'm getting for my birthday? You're giving me a vote on the Fed next Tuesday. <laughs> Senator Rand Paul brings a message of stopping government abuses as he bids to be the country's next president. The Kentucky senator and his wife spoke to about 100 people at the Council Bluffs Public Library this morning. National polls show Paul in seventh in the Republican race. But his campaign says 78 percent of Iowa precincts have someone ready to caucus for Paul. But our precinct organization uh, will uh, compare favorably to uh, every leading candidate in Iowa and may well exceed most of them. Paul calls this a grassroots swing. He wants to rein in government spending, has a fair and flat tax plan, and says military efforts don't always solve conflicts in the Middle East. He also discussed the president's gun reform announced this week and says the Constitution is very specific that only Congress can write laws. The main objection from my point of view isn't about the details of gun control. It's about whether or not a president should be allowed to pass laws without any authority from Congress. I've never done a caucus before, so maybe, maybe it's time. I'm getting old enough to do one. <laughs> Janice Wagner, a longtime Iowa resident, says she'll likely participate in her first caucus. She's still undecided, but says other candidates are falling behind on her list after hearing Rand Paul. Sincerity. I really like his sincerity. I like his ideas. I like his ideals. I like his uh, moral perspectives on life. Pro-life is really a big thing for me. I also want the economics fixed. It's ridiculous. Paul will continue his 48-hour Iowa swing in Sioux City, Des Moines, Davenport, and other places in between. Reporting live, Jake Wazikowski. KMTV Action 3 News. More candidates are on the way. 2012 Republican winner Rick Santorum will make two stops in Council Bluffs tomorrow. A town hall at the Missouri Valley Pizza Ranch will take place in between. On Saturday, Santorum plans to visit Shenandoah, Atlantic, Creston, and Pacific Junction. John Kasich is another candidate hoping to pick up steam with his visit to western Iowa. The Ohio governor will stop at Barley's in Council Bluffs on Sunday night. Most recent polls show Kasich with about 2% of the vote. Get the latest on all the candidate visits at our website, kmtv.com.